Hello everyone. So today I'm going to discuss about how you are learning path with respect to OpenShift because we have seen a lot of people they are coming, they are learning, they are back to back going for the exam, then they will go for the next exam. But what about how you are going to carry that knowledge? For that, what we have done, what Hawkstack is trying to bring up. So for example, somebody has done, uh, when we talk about only OpenShift, somebody has done 280, 180, 280, 380. This 180, 280, 380 is like a, uh, only a operation level work. How basically you will be getting involved with the real time operation where we will talk about many things like security part, authentication part, backup, restore part, your machine configuration changes, right? On your master node, worker nodes, and your Argo CD implementation. What all changes you are doing on your OpenShift cluster, everything via Argo CD. So these many things only with respect to DO 180, 280, 380 means it is difficult. Then what about the storage part? Without storage, how you can think about OpenShift? Nothing. You cannot implement your stateful application without storage. So ODF is coming up. Even though if you don't have ODF in your setup, on ODF solution also. But ODF is giving you a, a storage angle where you can think more from the storage point of view. So how basically storage will come in the picture? Then we have something called QWORD, which is basically Kubernetes virtualization. It is a main game and this is what we will be going to use the platform to implement all your knowledge. How? I am going to explain you. In that one, we have migration part, we have uh, basically advanced cluster management, 430 security, right? So many things, service mess basically, uh, 328. So as a as a architect, uh, Red Hat certified OpenShift architect or infra architect, I also feel a lot of challenges when you do the certification and uh, you will not be able to carry that knowledge. So to implement that knowledge, what we need to do, this is what we have, Hopstack is going to uh, uh, design for all our learners. What we are going to do, we, be, we will be going to create an OpenShift cluster and our cluster base domain is uh, hopstack.com. Then we'll, we are giving this cluster name hawk Vera, and uh, we will be going to create three master node in this one. Uh, uh, n number of cluster node this is just an example i have given you can see this diagram where we have three master node we have three worker node and these worker node we are we are setting up for only to implement the odf internal storage odf okay so odf uh, odf uh, 4.4 4.16 will be implementing here and uh, then you will be going for 15 nodes we will be creating for qword why because there are so many setup uh, just think about QWORD is uh, basically uh, Kubernetes virtualization which is giving you the platform where you can create a virtual machine. Now, as a Hawkstack, we are trying to test the level of that virtual machine by implementing very high load on that. How? Basically, you will be uh, setting up complete Kubernetes 3 node cluster, complete uh, Ansible setup within the QWORD. It means you have an OpenShift cluster in that one few Kubernetes node where we will be creating or you can say uh, worker nodes where we will be allocating those worker node to QWORD like I, as I mentioned 15 Q, fifteen nodes will be allocated to QWORD where we will be setting up Kubernetes setup, Ansible setup, then 294 level of setup. So all these server configuration like LDAP, DNS, Pixie, all these workload will be coming up in this uh, we in this worker nodes where we have implemented QWORD. Then the few application we want to deploy as an end user application, which is on worker node and service mess. So this overall, this whole things will be deployed. I'm just giving a small light that uh, I, I'm going to implement Metal LB very effectively because Metal LB will be providing uh, 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 connectivity uh, uh, to our VMs by using uh, from the outside the cluster, right? So this is what we will be going to implement in detail. So all these concept, uh, when you go for uh, training, when you go for certification, think about when you achieve Red Hat OpenShift uh, architect, there are six certification. Think about those six certifications, six different angle you have. How you are going to implement those things? This is what Hopstack is coming up with our, all our learners. And uh, for that particular one, we have designed this uh, workflow. So stay tuned with us so that you will get more information.